Good morning, everyone, or evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, good, how are you? Um, hello. <laughs> uh, my name is Helen He. I am a consultant at the User Engagement Group at NERSC. Um, today is the part one of the part three part series of the Parallel Tools Training, Motif Guided Parallelization of ZPIC with OpenMP and OpenACC. So I'm going to start with the NERSC side of introduction. And uh, Manuel is going to do lots of introduction from his side and the whole um, training this morning with his um, um, partner. So let's say the purpose of this training is we want to prepare our users for programming for the upcoming parameter on CPU with CPU and GPU. Um, the, the training purpose here is to use directive uh, based programming models, um, OpenMP and OpenACC. So let's first introduce our presenters from Apentra. They're located in Spain. Um, Manuel Arnaz is the CEO and co-founder of the company. And Javier um, Noro Rodriguez is the head engineer and product. Uh, thank you, thank you too, very much for uh, doing this training, especially um, late from late in the afternoon to all the way into the evening hours, and especially for part three will be way later. And it's organized by a Pantra team, along with our nurse people, a group of us, Rebecca, Helen, myself, Wu Sound, Chris, and Brandon. Thank you all for making this happen. And also thanks for all the other attendees. Um, very enthusiastic with um, signing up for this training and, and prepared to learn the, the tools. So what are the parallel tools? Especially uh, the product names are PW Trainer and PW Analyzer. Are the tools developed by the Apentra, and especially for debugging and for development of the C, C++ Fortran codes for CPU and GPU with OpenMP and OpenACC. This, um, the, the third training at NERSC provided by Apentra, there were two already held last year. Uh, if you missed, uh, you have still have the chance to go back and review the contents. Uh, and some of them will be also, also will be brushed up uh, today. The trainings mostly held uh, focused on understanding the parallel patterns regarding compute pattern, memory pattern, and flow pattern, and then parallelize using the PW Trainer tool. Um, so for this training, we have now PW Analyzer as well. And uh, we wish, uh, the Apentra team is gonna show real code example for, for parallelization. You will have uh, it guided with the common motifs, uh, parallel patterns in the NISAP applications. NISAP stands for NERSC X Scale Skating Application Programming, which is uh, especially a program to prepare users for uh, the upcoming new, new machines at NERSC. And you will have chance to have hands-on and, and homework, so really to learn the tools. So now I'm gonna switch gear to, to tell you about some few of the logistics for this training. So everybody is muted upon joining Zoom. You can unmute to speak you wish. And we, we hope that sometimes because Zoom names are not recognizable, we hope you could help us by change your name to your first name, last name, and parenthesis your nurse username. Um, click on participants, there are more, and next to your name, you can rename yourself. And we have sent a Slack invitation. Uh, many of you have joined. I'm going to post the Slack link again in the Zoom chat after a little bit afterwards. So you could all join and during the course of the about two weeks during the training, we can have Q and A and discussions throughout uh, anything we, we would like to discuss. There are a general channel and there's a CPU and GPU channels that you can um, focus on to ask questions. And we can probably create more channels later on, like which tool it's, we think about some tools or CPU, GPU. it might overlap. So we'll see whether we need to create a PW trainer tool, a channel or PW analyzer channel, or maybe, um, other, you know, uh, feature requests, something like that later. Uh, slides have already been uploaded to the NERSC event website and the videos will be available afterwards. We will do some post-processing first before um, post our videos. And we have added you to a training account or M3502 is especially our GPU training account. If you have a NERSC account already, if you don't, you will be added to the N-Train account. And those um, access for GPE will be valid through November 10th. We also made some reservation reserved notes for KNL and GPU. 
and the names are PW Tools 1, KNL, PW Tools 1, GPU, and 2 and 3 for the other parts. So you would log into um, login name and query, and we, especially the uh, dash Y here, because this is for X forwarding um, PW Trainer Tools that has a GUI. We want you to use that dash Y for when you log into uh, query. And to expedite forwarding, especially if we are remote from NERSC, far away from NERSC, definitely try to, to install NX on your on local desktop, local machine, and then it'll um, be like um, Zoom speed <laughs> to do X forwarding. To, to. And if you have any question of NX, uh, go ahead and uh, open up a, a NERSC ticket, or you can ask in our uh, Slack channel as well. We'll help you to figure that out. Oh, sorry. So uh, materials are already, already um, uploaded to the query in this directory, global CFS, DFDR training 2020 parallelware. So you, we suggest you go to CD to your scratch directory, copy it over, then you have everything. And in it, you have slides, you have homework and some study materials. There's a dot at the end. Don't forget to use that dot when you copy. Here's a brief agenda, uh, part one, two, and three. Um, Manor is gonna repeat and, and it, uh, even um, make it more detailed for, for, the, for the, each, each section of the materials to be covered. I only just wanna mention that for the intro slide today, we will have some several five minutes breaks. So don't worry about it. It's not a three hours um, um, straight uh, training. And then we, you will be given homework assignment with step-by-step -step guides and we do encourage you to come to the part two of the training because the, we will um, demo the exercise solutions and so you can uh, follow up with all the questions you have for the second part. And the last part is case study uh, presentation plus bring your own applications. We will work with you on your own applications if you wanna use the, the techniques learned. So next few slides, I'm just gonna cover um, available compilers you can use for OpenMP and OpenACC on GPU and OpenMP only on CPU. So for the, I'm not going to go over each slide in detail, just, just pick a one for OpenMP, one for OpenACC and one for uh, CPU to show you. So OpenMP on Core GPU LVM compiler is for C and C++ code only. And from logging node, uh, we suggest you to purge the module for, for the GPU uh, compilation or use runs, uh, running and you need to load a cGPU. So module load cGPU is a new thing just introduced last year or it's actually there, but it's more formalized. So uh, instead of many of you, if you already have um, GPU access, you might know you're probably using ESLearn, but now we recommend you to use cGPU uh, module. Then you would uh, um, get onto a GPU node and during the training, we have the reservation. So you have this command and if after, after the training, uh, that's three hours today, there was, well, there is no reservation. This is another command to use. And once you land onto a commute node uh, for LVM, you would load a PRG and the LVM. And here's a sample command line to compile and how do you run it? So GCC is similar. I'm gonna skip this slide. And OpenACC, um, the suggestion is to use HPC SDK, formerly known as PGI compiler and very similar purge and load cGPU, get onto a node, and here's a command to uh, another uh, module to load to use HPC SDK and um, example compiler um, commands for C and for Fortran code. And, and GCC can also be used for OpenACC. In, in many of um, example and homeworks, uh, GCC is used because it's more portable for your local, some of our trainers, um, local systems and everywhere, but um, it's not for, for the for the applications, the compiler is not specific, only when you run it. When you do the trainer tools, um, you can use any compiler. And once you have the generated um, directives or recommendations, you can bring your generated code to use your own compiler to compile later. And OpenMP, um, so things we have very few computer uh, CPU, uh, GPU nodes available. Uh, and also because like I mentioned, the tools actually can be used, um, applied onto a CPU node to help you prepare the, your applications. 
Uh, so we rec reserved many more CPU nodes for you to use uh, for, this, for this piece of work. For CPU, uh, got from a logging node, do not module purge and do not load module CGPU. And on the CPU node, your default is already um, Intel compiler. So you just log into Intel, uh, uh, logging, and then in, compared to when you build um, on GPU node, we need you to log on to, uh, get onto a compute node via S alloc and build on the GPU node directly there. For CPU node, the recommendation is different. We want you to build on the logging node. And if you want to optimize for KNL, you uh, do another module swap. Otherwise, Haswell uh, Dynamic um, Binaries does run on the KNL. So on the logging node, without doing anything, it's Intel compiler, and you compile your C, uh, C++ or Fortran code. Then you get onto a, a node. On there, you start to run. And if it's a pure OpenMP code, you don't have to use SROM, just set number of threads. If MPI code, you would do um, as well with N and C and other options. Um, so GCC, um, very similar. You still build on the logging node, but swap in PRG ENV to PRG uh, GNU. And then you compile, then um, as a alloc on a KNL node with the reservation and run, then run. So for today, if you want to try something and if the a GPU node is very busy or, or during the two uh, weeks courses, you can always just try it on a uh, CPU node to, uh, to get a node easier for you. So I'm gonna skip different compilers. Um, and to, so after you knowing how to use all different compilers, now how do you use trainer and parameterizer uh, tools? We already set up a module and license files, everything. If you check some of the um, online tools and the standard tools, sometimes they say download the tool down and install your uh, license. You don't need to do all of that at MERSC on Cori. All you need to do is module load PW trainer and then launch it. It's a GUI, like I mentioned. Um, and or uh, module load PW analyzer and then use the options, uh, the, the command line options, PW report, PW check, a few others with options. That's all you need to do. You can use CPU for most of, of the preparation work for your GPU and you can use any compiler um, the, the, the training slides may show lots of GCC and you can use those for homework, but then we do recommend you use other compilers for better performance, especially like LVM for uh, GPU OpenMP, HPC SDK for uh, GPU OpenAC, OpenACC, and Intel or other compilers for CPU OpenMP. So I, I didn't mention a couple of uh, Slide study materials help, uh, which would be helpful for your homework. We do have three sets of homework to do. These are some extra uh, materials for, uh, to, to help you prepare uh, a little bit more. This, um, so I have putting those something into um, the directory on Cori in the subdirectory called study materials. And there's a, a more detailed readme file there for each of these items. But quickly, um, there's a PW, uh, quick start guide, use NPB uh, standard benchmark. NAS Parallel Benchmark, and there's a code and quick start guide there you can follow um, step by step. This is um, other than your homework. Then there's also a very good uh, four very short videos to quickly to learn how to use PW Trainer on their website. Um, I have shared with you the tips avoid race conditioning um, in uh, the email yesterday. And another two things I found out is like very handy. Um, it's just actually available on Cori. So you can do just dash dash help for those command lines, PW directives, PW check, all these things, dash dash help, and they'll show all different uh, flags and options you can choose from and learn. And also in the module installation, software installation directories, there's a uh, docs and examples there, uh, very handy. So quickly to just show you, say module uh, show this PW trainer example. And you, you from that output, you can find out where is the directory, like um, the path is where it is installed. So you would go to that path, and then you, if you do ls, you can see that there's docs directory, and you go to that docs, you find user menu, and examples is another directory with, with codes and step by uh, step guides as well. And similarly, you could do P module show PW analyzer, and there's also a docs directory with examples. So with that, it's all my introduction today, and welcome again. <laughs>